Hey YouTube. Um, I just want to do kind of like a book review. Um, I just finished. Let's see, what was it called? Um, Vampire Mind by Carolyn Sparks, and it was um part of the Love Stake series, and it's Connor's story. Well, it is a very good book. Um, I've liked all her books. Uh, my favorite, besides that one, that is one of my favorites, is um, trying to be still my vampire heart that is my all-time favorite i loved it um so anyways back to the one i just finished it is kind of like a mix of the very first one how to marry a millionaire a millionaire vampire or a vampire millionaire something like that and the previous book of um the Vampire Virgin, which is the third book before the one I just finished. Um, I love paranormal romance books, and this book was fantastic. It wrapped all these other ones, and it just, it was so good. Um, so, if you like paranormal romance books, a little more in depth than like Twilight. I would definitely suggest you check her out. And her and um, Lindsay Sands are two of my favorite. But yeah, I read it on my Kindle. My handy dandy Kindle here. And um, it was really good. I uh, actually started rereading. Uh, Eat, eat, pray, and love. Eat. Hang on, let me see if I can grab my book. Okay. So this is the actual hardback book of the book I'm rereading. And it's Eat, Pray, and Love. And this is Carlos's story. And I actually bought it on my Kindle. So, more than likely, I am probably going to give this book away. Um, I thought about trying to keep it, maybe, and kind of do it like a, um, a giveaway type deal where that would actually go with the package or something. Um, yeah. So... When I get more subscribers and whatnot, I will probably do that. But I have this book. I accidentally bought it again on my Kindle by accident. And uh, that's what I'm rereading. But I thought I would just, you know, kind of give you guys like a heads up on what I thought about Vampire Mind. Since I was cleaning up my purse and my Kindle, I ran across that and I had finished it yesterday. But um, it was a really good book. I love all her books, so uh, I would definitely suggest people read that series. It is so good. The first book was kind of eh, but once you got past that first book and you started hopping in and you got into the shifters and all that, it got really, really good. Um, I'm really hoping she has another one coming out here soon. I will probably look it up when I get done doing this video, but um, it was really good. So. That's kind of what I've been doing lately. Um, I did kind of catch up on a lot of my requests. I had a request for my nail polish collection, my makeup collection. I have one for my jewelry collection, but I just, that's a lot to have to go through. So I just haven't even touched on that yet. Um, but anyways, yeah. So if you guys have a candle and you want to switch books or something with me, just let me know. Um, I'm actually probably fixing to buy a few more books off of there today. I haven't decided which ones I want yet. Um, but yeah, I thought about, because I've actually bought this one. A lot of my books 
hardback books I had bought um, from a used bookstore, so they had some wear and tear, but some of the ones that I personally bought that are in good condition, I am actually thought about keeping and giving them out into like little box, little packages or something as a giveaway, like if I do a trade or something, a swap with somebody, I might stick a book in there with a bunch of other stuff, which I thought would be pretty cool. So, if anybody's out there that, you know, wants to do a trade or something, let me know. I usually go shopping every week. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go back into my Kindle and finish reading Carlos' story. And I might see about getting some other books on my Kindle. But if you would like to do a swap Kindle-wise for 14 days, you know you can swap a book with the friend for 14 days and they can read it. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions or anything, you know, just hit me up and let me know. Um, me and my sister actually do a lot of trading with our Kindle. So I've read quite a bit, you know. Um, I'm a huge bookworm when I'm not working. That's pretty much what I do on my days off. Um, if I'm off on Sundays with my husband, we'll go out and do stuff. And then if I'm off another day and he's not off, I will just stay at home, clean. And then when I'm done cleaning, it's me and Kindle time. So, anyways, um, that's about it. Uh, just um, let me know, you know, if you guys have any suggestions on books or if you would like to see anything different that I haven't done yet. Um, any suggestions, just let me know. So until my next video, bye.